right, so first things first, um, you wanna make sure you're loosening your lug nuts before you put your car up on the jack. So you wanna make sure you get all your lug nuts loose, get them all the way off so that when um, you jack your, you put your car up on the jack, all you gotta do is take the wheel off. So I have hubcaps. And one thing I wanted to show you guys is you might notice how, yes, I know I need new ones, but you might notice how dirty they are. Like you see this black stuff? So that's what we call brake dust. Um, so my brakes have been squeaking and I feel like it's because of the brake dust, which you can like, once you go through a car wash or you can spray it with like a, uh, like an air hose to get the brake dust off. Um, but one thing to be cognizant of is this stuff can be poisonous. So you don't want to inhale too much of it. So just make sure you have like a mask or some sort of breathable something. Um, I do not because I'm not using the air hose to clean it off. But just wanted to throw that out there. So I'm all about hacks, all of that. Once you actually get your tire off, make sure you place it. Um, you don't have to, but it's just like another safety net. As you can see, I've got two jack stands up. But what you can do is place your tire underneath your car. Like I said, it's just another safety net in the event the jack stands fail. It's still got that extra layer of protection for your car to fall on versus it just hitting flat on your person, on some tools. Just It's just a safety net. So a little terminology, this big thing right here that came off of this is called your caliper. Um, so this is a caliper, this inside, um, that big circle inside, that's um, basically, it's called the piston, essentially. Um, this line right here is your brake line. So that's what's um, feeding the brake fluid from your engine into your car that pushes um, pressure to basically close your brake pads, which are these things right here. All you got to do is wiggle it and it comes right off. So now we've got two brake pads. Two brake pads. Ta -da. Next is the clips. So now I got to remove the clips. Um, the clips are hella easy to remove. Um, if they give you some sort of resistance, you can use like a flathead and just kind of pop it off. Boop. There it goes. So that's one clip. And that just holds the brake pads in place uh, to make sure everything's nice and snug. Oh, there's the second clip. So like I said, I wanted to look at my brake pads and see what was up, see why they were squeaking, um, and to do a video. So um, one way to look at the life is you wanna see the width of your brake pads to make sure that they're not too thin. There's a tool that'll measure it. I can't remember if it's, I think it's millimeters. It could be centimeters. I don't remember, honestly. but. Uh, mine look good. Um, the main culprit for my brake squeaking is the brake dust. So as you can see, all this black stuff, this is the brake dust. And it's um, what happens when your brake pads heat up from braking, they, it's the surface of it breaking down. And because your rotors, which is this thing right here, is made of cast iron, it just sticks and the particles, it's, it's metal, just sticking to metal. So it's just magnetic and they stick. So it's normal, it's a normal thing. Um, for brakes, it does not indicate that I need new brake pads, so I'm good. I'm just gonna pop them back on. So I already put part of the caliper back on. I just um, tightened the top 
um, lug nut back on there because I wanted to show you all the next step that you want to do to the piston. Um, this is a this isn't the right right tool, but it's the only one that I had. It looks like this, but it's smaller. Um, and I'll show it to you once I actually do the whole video. But you want to um, the piston that I was telling you all about earlier. You want to actually make sure that it's nice and flush because as the brake pads wear down, um, this pushes out because the brake pads are wearing down, if that makes sense. So it's pushing up against the brake pad. And as the brake pad wears down, this is gonna push out even more. So once you replace it with new ones, you need to push this back in. Um, but because it's so delicate, you wanna use a special tool, hence this guy right here. Y'all, that's it. I know it took me a while just because I wanted to make sure I was recording stuff, um, but the caliber's back on. Um, I put the bolts back on. I put that bolt back on, I put this bolt back on, um, tightened it. I tightened this back up, which is the, which leads to the brake fluid line. So I tightened that really, really tight because that's the key culprit right there. Um, and then uh, the clips are on. There's one clip, there's two clips, and then there's the brake pad. Um, we didn't change the rotor. So this silver thing right here is the rotor, did not change that. So that stayed on. Um, so I'm gonna put the wheel back on, put the lug nuts back on, take it for a test run, make sure everything's good, and then we're good. So it really is that, oh God. Yeah, it's that simple, y'all. All right, y'all, so I checked my back brakes and um, this rotor, um, so like this whole thing is called like the disc brake. So the rotor is made of cast iron. And if anybody has a cast iron skillet, you know that your cast iron skillet can rust. So when your brake pads are squeezing in on this, um, it's filing away from the smoothness of it. And then once air, water, salt, and stuff like that gets into it and you park it over time, it's just gonna rust. So this can be another reason why my brakes are squeaking. Um, so what I'll do is just get some cleaner and file it off and then see if that helps. Um, unless there is corrosion, <laughs> which means the whole rotor will have to be replaced. So we'll cross that bridge if and when we come to it.